Teachers, when is the last time you tried creating a video for your students or your parents? It requires a lot of planning and a lot of time. Teaching takes enough time as it is, nevertheless trying to create a video which might take hours using software that you don't have or don't even know. Check out your new secret weapon to transform your video creation process. Welcome to my channel, my name is Gabriel Carrillo, and if you'd like to learn more ed tech tips and food recipes, make sure you click on that subscribe button. But for now, let's do a deep dive into your new video creation tool, Google Vids. Google Vids is an add-on to your Google Workspace that creates quick videos on any topic through the use of AI. It'll add slides, images, video, B-roll, transitions, and audio for you. But you can edit anything that it creates to give it that personal touch. How do we access Google Vids? Well, it actually lives in your Google Drive. If you have a personal Google Drive, you probably have it there. If you have a work account, like an EDU account, then it might be pushed out to you, but you might not have access. So talk to your district Google admin about having that turned on. Let's go ahead and go to my personal Google Drive. I'm gonna go ahead and click new and choose Google Vids. There it is. And you can have it do your video in a couple different ways. This will use Google Gemini. You can use templates that are pre-made. You can record yourself directly on the screen here, or you can upload an existing video that you have. We are going to help me create. There's my prompt. I want to create a fun back to school video for my incoming fifth graders. Next. It is creating the outline now and you'll see that it created an outline and there's a couple different things that we want to look at here. I can edit any one of these. Welcome to the fifth grade adventure. If you happen to have a theme for this school year, you can edit that text to say whatever you want. If you need to add a different bullet point to talk about, you can add. If you'd like to delete any of these, you can go ahead and click on that remove button. For the sake of this, let's go ahead and click next. Let's go ahead and select a design. I'm gonna go with this one here. From here, you can choose your color palette. I'm gonna go with uh, this blue one here and create the draft video. And it officially created my video. It created slides, transitions, and I know you couldn't hear that, but there's actually an audio music track playing in the background as well. And if I scrub through, it's got every single one of those talking points that that outline originally had. And I'm not sure if you noticed, but for each particular slide, there's a script. And that script is what I will read as a voiceover when we get to that part. So now that it's created the video, let's edit the video to make it a little bit more personal. This is nothing more than Google Slides, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to edit the text here, you can edit the text to say, Mr. Creel's fifth grade adventure. And once we're done with that, let's go ahead and take a look at all these buttons over here. You can create images with Google Gemini. You can use custom templates that they have. You can upload your own media. You can use stock media that is 100% copyright free. You can insert text boxes, shapes and lines. You can record yourself and obviously you have your script. So let's go through the editing process for a couple of these slides. I've already edited some text here and I'm gonna go ahead and now maybe throw in a image. And we just happen to have like a pizza theme going on. So there's a image that I could throw in there really quickly. Let's go to the stock media now. And you'll notice here, you could search different videos, GIFs, images, web images. You could use stickers. You could use royalty free music and some sound effects as well. And let's say that I didn't like this particular song that it had in the background. I can always replace it with a different one that I find here. And just like that, I swapped out the audio track for one that I liked even better. Let's go through a different slide here and let's add some text. So I've added some text here and these icons here are transitions. And by clicking on them, you can take a look at the different transitions that they have available. You can mess with the duration and the direction in which they fly in if they do indeed come in from one side or another. If you want to swap out some of the images and video, just click on it. You can keep the video, you can record one on your own, or you can do a search.
And just like that, I was able to swap out that video with one that I found. And you have all these tools available, kind of like a Google slideshow where you can format different things. You can set up different scenes. You can duplicate, you can arrange with your layers and that. So it's pretty much like Google slides. And now that I think I'm ready to go, it's time to record some voiceover. I'm going to go back to the beginning here and make sure that my script is ready to go. And you can edit the script here as well. Welcome to fifth grade adventure. And once I'm ready, I can record with teleprompter or generate a voiceover through AI. I'm going to go ahead and record my own voice with a teleprompter. All right. And here you can see, I have the teleprompter. You can choose to just record audio. You can share your audio and screen camera and screen, or just your camera. I'm just going to do audio for this one. Welcome to Mr. Carrillo's fifth grade adventure. Get ready for a year filled with exploration, learning, and fun. All right. And I can preview it. I can insert it. And now I have that voiceover track here. You'll notice that my voiceover track goes beyond that first slide. So let's just kind of stretch that one out and do a playback. I know you can't hear the audio, but the music was a lot louder than my voice. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the music track and click on the speaker icon. And now I could change the volume level for that particular audio track. That way it doesn't overpower my voice. And you continue making your edits. You continue recording your script for every single one of the slides. And before you know it, you have a video that was generated through the use of Google Gemini's AI. So you've recorded the video, you've edited the video, and now it's time to share the video. How do you do that? Well, there's a couple different ways. Because it lives in your Google Drive, like a Google Doc, you can click share and share it with whoever you need to share it with, or you can click file, download as MP4, and this might take a while, so make sure that you keep that window open. That way the download continues. It might take a couple minutes, but let it do its thing in the background and you can work on something else. Once you have it downloaded, you can put it into a newsletter, a s'more. You can create a newsletter through the use of Google vids here. Instead of creating one on a different platform or on a Google Doc, have Google Gemini and Google vids do the work for you. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen, Google vids, your new favorite video creation app or tool to create classroom videos for parents, for students, for anything. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, comment on what you like or what you'd like to learn about more in the future, and make sure that you hit that subscribe button. Buen provecho.